So there's our leak, and I don't know if it was like that before, or I did that when I was putting it back in. It could be either, but now I've got to take this out. Hey everybody, what's up? I want to show you what I'm working on today. So I was working on the New Holland TL100 yesterday, and well, it had a big problem. And that problem was the water pump went bad. So I'll show you in here. You see? Oh, let me see. Let me hang this. Hold on. There we go. So, come on. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so you see this right in here? I'm going to touch it. This thing right here. I had to get in there and replace that. So that meant I had to take everything off back to that point. And we thought that was the reason why our tractor was overheating. But it turns out after I put everything together, there's a leak in the radiator. <laughs> so what I have to do then is the water pump is fine, but I have to take this radiator off. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. It's a windy day on the farm. And I can't reach this bolt. Okay, so I got it loose here. So it should slide back. No, it's not loose enough yet. Okay, and there we go. And then this. Okay, now I gotta take this one off. Little ratchet to the rescue. Already disconnected these tubes for the AC, now this should just slide right out. So there's our leak, and I don't know if it was like that before, or I did that when I was putting it back in. It could be either, but now I've got to take this out. So there's tubes in here I have to disconnect. There's one right here, and then there's one behind this screen. So we're going to take this screen off and then try and disconnect those tubes. And we got all the hoses loosened. Now all we have to do is go under the underneath and there's two bolts I have to take out and it should pop right off. I got the bolts pulled out underneath. All I have to do is get these tubes off now. And there we have it, we got it out. This is where I was working yesterday, right there. That water pump. So I had to take this off and yeah, it was a pain in the butt. And it was so dirty. And well, the main reason I didn't record it is because I didn't want my camera to be covered in grease. But here's a little bird's eye view of what I had to go through to get back and change that water pump. Well, now that I have this out, I'm going to go find my dad and ask him where he wants me to take it. I found my dad, and when you know it, he was in the kitchen because it was lunchtime. So I ate lunch, and then I asked him what he wanted me to do, where he wanted me to take it. And it turns out I'm not taking it anywhere. Matthew is taking it up because he's going up to Lowe's for some other things. So I think we're going to go work in the greenhouse now, but let's go find Dad first. It is windy out today. Hey, what's up, dude? What you doing? Watering. These are our strawberry hanging baskets. Here we have some tomatoes. Then here's some lettuce that we're going to sell to people in our farm market. Here's spinach. I have some curly parsley, some flat leaf parsley. And if you've been watching my videos for a little bit, you've seen the habaneros that we seeded and you've seen them slowly growing. Well, look at them now. Ooh, they're turning into some big spicy peppers. They look nice. We have more tomatoes over here. These are for sales. You can see there's packs of them. So we'll sell them by the pack. And look at our hanging baskets. They're growing so fast! Beautiful. This greenhouse we're in right now, we usually just put vegetable plants in it. 
but we put hanging baskets in. I told you it was windy. If you remember this greenhouse, looks a lot different. This is where we had the calves. And here is some of that cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower that we seeded. You can see how large it's getting. And over here we have some more cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower. This was planted a little earlier. It's almost ready to sell. People will be picking it up here next week. And you can remember the video from before when we were seeding all of this stuff. You can see how fast it grows in these greenhouse conditions. Now before we take them and plant them in the field, we'll actually put them outside so they can get accustomed to the weather. Oh, look at this one. It's still peeking up through. Let's help it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I didn't pull it out. I'm sorry, buddy. There you go. He'll, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Hey! Get off of there! No! Come on! Up! Up! Yeah, I know. I know. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get off of there. Guys, don't do that. These ladies are bad. Did you see what they were doing? No. They were walking all over your plants. Eating the bugs. Eating the bugs? Yeah. There's no bugs on our plants. They were just checking. They were eating. Oh, they were just checking. I'm sorry, ladies. I didn't know you were in here just looking for bugs. You're doing a big help, and I appreciate you. As Dad was in this greenhouse watering, I was looking around and I noticed some pretty large holes in this plastic and I already kind of patched this one. Uh, there's this one here I gotta fix and this one here. We have some plastic that just goes over top of them and seals them up. And we need to do that because these holes let in a lot of air from the outside and when it's at nighttime, when it's like 30, 40 degrees and we have the heaters on in this greenhouse, we'll be wasting a lot of money because of that. I got all the ones on the inside patched, and Dad just finished the ones on the outside. We're up in the germination greenhouse. It's about 82 degrees. It's very humid. So we're up here planting and dad's not happy because his dish got wet and it makes the seed, seed stick to it. But he's planting marigolds and I don't know what else are you planting? Zinnias. Zinnias. So just planting some flowers. We're all done with the marigolds and now we're moving on to zinnias. Dad's got all the little test tubes in his hand. Here we go. All the different types of seed. More flowers. And there we have it. We got all our zinnias finished. We got all our marigolds planted. And I wanted to take the time to show you guys, we planted some of our own peppers that we'll later transplant into the field. We planted them into the 98s. We have some bell peppers, a variety called Revolution. We have some sweet banana peppers up top, some uh, Cubanelles or Italianelles. I'm not sure which those are, the Italian frying peppers. And then over here, you get a quick look. We have our hot peppers, hot cherry. Uh, we have some, oh, there's some bell peppers, more hot cherry. We plant a lot of these. People like to can them. So we'll plant lots and then we'll sell them to our customers. And then long hots, more yellow bell, some white bells up here, purple bell, orange bell. Here's some more hot peppers. Most of the time when we plant stuff in the 512s like this, the yellow bell here and then the hot cherry, we'll take these and we'll transplant them into these trays called 806s and we'll sell them for our customers. So like I said, we're done in here. We're going to close it up. We're going to make sure it's all sealed so it stays nice and warm. And we're going to head down to the store. 
Hi, Mommy. Hello. How busy has the store been lately? Extremely busy. Why? The people are going crazy. They don't want to go to the big stores. <laughs> yeah, we've we've been pretty insane here. Um, we've gone and got produce like every single day. Uh, the candy, you know, the essentials. The candy back there is almost completely gone. People are getting pasta and these are all like snacks here that people will get and they're almost all gone. So my mom was saying she got six cases of milk which it's 24 gallons of milk and she sold out in like four hours. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, we, we have this cooler or whatever you want to call it. It's full of meat and once we get our meat order in it's just gone. Just finished closing up the store for the day so we're gonna go put the plants to bed. Andy, 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 look at the baby cactuses starting to grow. What kind of cactuses are they? Mixed. <laughs> hey, dude, why are you putting the plastic on it? Because there's heat under... <laughs> because there's heat underneath here, and if we don't cover it, it'll dry out overnight and the plastic keeps the moisture. So when you're done at night, do you sing the plants like a bedtime story, or? No. No? I can't sing. You can't sing, oh man. You wanna say goodnight to everyone? Good night, and subscribe.